Four years ago, Venezuela's President Nicolás Maduro was barred from entering neighboring Brazil. Scores of countries recognized opposition leader Juan Guaidó instead as the interim president. Now, Maduro's left-wing peer, Brazilian President Luis Inácio Lula da Silva, is welcoming him back into the fold. It's hard to conceive that so many years had to pass without having a dialogue with the government of a brotherly Amazonian country, a neighbor with whom we share a 2,200-kilometer border. President Maduro lashed out at the United States and others who call him a dictator. We can't allow intolerant ideologies to impose their will, extremist ideologies that exclude those who think differently. Maduro was the first president to arrive for Tuesday's meeting of South American presidents, an initiative by Lula to try to unite the region around common interests. Unlike his predecessor, Hugo Chavez, Maduro has rarely come to these regional gatherings. So it sends a strong message, the fact that he's here, that both he and his peers are willing to sit down together and work. During his last presidency, Lula tried to create a South American Union. Fifteen years later, he's trying again, arguing that in a world increasingly divided into blocks, the region's voice must be heard. Former Foreign Minister Celso Amorin, today Lula's chief advisor, insists that unity does not require ideological alignment. Of course, there, there will be different views, but we have common interests in many respects. And we have to try to uh, look for our, to search our interests, look after our interests uh, in, in a uh, unified way, because like that we have more strength. That's as simple as that. But it hasn't been simple. South American unity has long eluded a region that accounts for nearly 10% of the world's population, and an even larger share of key commodities, such as lithium, copper and soy, to name a few. That's why many attending the summit are adamant that if they don't speak with one voice, no one will listen to them. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Brasilia.